What's up, everybody? My name is Cap, the Everyday Gamer. You're watching a team deathmatch on Interchange. A flawless team deathmatch, I should say. Haha, -ha, proud of that one. Now, the score is not incredibly high for being a flawless and a fairly quick round, but the guys on my team were actually doing what they were supposed to and killing guys and moving around, and, you know, we just worked well as a team. Now, I'll start off doing a little bit of camping. You'll see me sitting a little bit, pro uh, not prone, but kind of just hanging out, hitting back, seeing what's going on. Previous few rounds with this lobby, everybody on the other team was sniping, and I mean they're just long-range sniping and stuff, and so it made it real hard to try and engage them. So I started off just trying to figure out where everybody was and what was going on, and this round happened to be the first time they ever really started moving, so I'm still trying to figure out my pace here. Good round, at least I thought it was worthy of sharing. I'm not going to talk about the gameplay, I just wanted to have a topic of discussion I want to run by you guys and see what you thought. Get your feedback on this. And my question to you is... What defines a fun round to you? What is fun to you? And now, I don't mean, you know, what's your gameplay style, if it's fun running around hitting noobs with shotguns or, you know, quick scoping. I'm, I'm not asking. That's an entirely different discussion. A long, lengthy discussion, I'm sure. What I'm meaning is, okay, here's an example. The other night, I was in a lobby with my friends. That guy is actually in this room here with me. And uh, we were playing with this group of kids, and they were running the Boy Scout Classic, man. They had Blind Eye Assassin, Dead Silence. They had used the silenced ACRs. They were using Type 95s with, you know, silencers. They had portable radar set up. I mean, they were had everything besides s'mores going on, and it was ridiculous. I mean, fortunately, we were rolling over the top of these kids like they were standing still. I mean, we were beating them by three or 4,000 points. I mean, kind of like in this round. We're just straight up kicking their ass. And after four or five rounds, I was like, hey guys, can we find a new lobby? And they're like, why? And I said, because this is boring as balls, man. Get there. Nobody's moving. And they're like, what do you mean it's boring? I said, we're, everybody's camping. You know, we're spending the entire round running, trying to find somebody. And it's just really lame. And they're like, but we're winning. I was like, well, yeah, we're winning. We win more than we lose for sure. But it's really boring. There's no engagements here. I want something fun, you know, something action-packed or whatever. And they were just talking about it. It's like, well, in my book, as long as we win, I'm having fun. To me, the winning is the fun. It doesn't matter what the stats are. And that was a philosophy that I didn't really ever think about because it's not one I, you know, have myself. I don't disagree. You know, they're my best friends. They can play however they want to for sure. But to me, I was like, I don't really feel that way. I mean, yes, I definitely like to win. And, I, you know, if we can get the W, that's great and all is wonderful for sure. But to me, that's not what defines a fun round. You know, to me, fun, if I get back to the lobby and I'm like, man, that was a lot of fun. I had a good time with that. Is if everybody's engaging. If you're seeing a lot of gunplay, a lot of head-to-head -head with one or two people and coming out on top. And, you know, everything's just clicking and you're working. It's a real fast-paced round. You get to the end of the round and you got, you know, a little bit of adrenaline going because you just pub stomp some people or whatever. You know, that to me is fun. And, you know, if I had a game where I went 20 and 2 and those two deaths were by people hiding in corners that I was spent the whole round running and trying to find, I'm like, yeah, stats-wise, that was pretty good. Yeah, we got the win, but man, it was a boring round. I mean, you look at anybody that does YouTube Call of Duty videos, and the videos you're going to see them posting, especially the bigger guys, the people that are really good at running and gunning, you're going to see them straight up just running into enemies over and over and over again. And it's going to be them, you know, rounding the corner, getting a two-piece, and a three-piece, reload, around the corner, get another two-piece. So you never see the videos where they spend 45 seconds, a minute, a minute and a half trying to freaking find somebody. And three minutes into the game, you've got eight kills and you have no idea where anybody's at. Because that is boring, man. Nobody wants to watch somebody just run around in circles trying to find people. So that's my question to you is, when you get back to the lobby, what does it take for you to look back and say, man, that was a lot of fun. I had a good time with that. Like I said, with me, it comes down to enemy engagement. Um, I mean, yeah, being able to have high stats. You know, like this one, I went 29-0. and 0, um, I was really proud of this. It was the first time with this prestige. Actually, probably the first time ever in this game that I got flawless while I was still moving around. A little bit of campy here and there, but, you know, I'm okay with that. So I was just, I was really proud of how it went and stuff, but on the fact that I was also, it was engaging the enemy. There wasn't, the whole enemy team was actually moving, and so they were, you know, trying to flank from behind. And, you know, straight up, honestly, connections were in my favor, and my kill streaks were doing something wonderful. So, I'm going to leave you with that question. Straight up, what is fun to you? What do you like to do that's fun?
I mean, do you have to call in a Moab before you consider it a fun round? Do you have to go flawless? Do you have to be able to get in your kill streaks? Do you have to be able to piss somebody off until they rage quit? Because uh, there's people out there whose entire concept of playing this game is to see how many people they can piss off. Sad, but it's true. I mean, that's how it's out there. So, what is your philosophy in that? I'm going to leave you with that, and I'm, you know, really curious to see your opinion on that. Um, you know, we ran right over the top of these guys, but I'm going to leave you with that question. Just want to know your thoughts on that, as whether you are a YouTuber, you know, does commentaries, whether you're one that just watches videos. Um, I'd say the guys that don't have anything to do with YouTube, but you're probably not here watching this anyway, so, you know, for that aspect of it, what do you find fun? Let me know what you think. In the meantime, you guys enjoyed the video, let me know what you think. Y'all have a good one. Um, if you liked the video, like I said, leave a like. I appreciate that. In the meantime, y'all have a good one, and I will talk to you later.